Hey, what is going on guys? How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing okay and are keeping safe. So today I thought we could check out the Neo Classism Final Fantasy 7 Tifa Lockhart 1 4 scale resin statue. So these are brand new images on the statue which came out about a week ago. So uh, yeah, we haven't seen these images before. So I'm super excited to share them with you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to stay up to date with the latest Final Fantasy 7 news and updates, then be sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a suggestion in the comments below for what video you guys want to see next. And with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at the statue. So I've got to say guys, this is such a nice statue. It's such a massive improvement compared to the original images. I just can't believe this is the same statue, it looks so much better. I mean what do you guys think of the statue, do you think it looks better or do you prefer the original images? So as you guys know, we've had quite a lot of statues on Tifa. First up we had the Mayfly Studios Tifa, which is such a nice statue, I think this is probably one of the best head sculpts. Next up we had the Pink Pink Studio Tifa Lockhart, which is my favourite statue out of all these statues. This is a statue which I've actually got pre-orders. So I just really can't wait. I just think it's got the best head sculpts and the best paint job, in my opinion. And last up we had the exquisite studio, Tifa statue. It seems like the statue has got a lot of interest, uh, I mean for obvious reasons. Me personally, this is my least favourite statue out of all four statues. I just don't like the head sculpt. I think the pose is a bit too extreme and it's way over sexualized. I mean it's just crazy. So yeah, I really don't like the statue at all. But uh, I think a lot of people are going to pick up this statue. But I want to ask, which statue do you guys think is the best? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, and so let's go ahead and take a look at the Neoclassism Tifa Lockhart 1-4 scale statue. I mean, as I mentioned, it's just such a massive improvement compared to the original images. So as for the release date of the statue, it's going to be sometime around December 2020 to March 2021, which is quite a long time away. I mean, these 1-4 scale statues always have such a long waiting period, so it's pretty standard waiting time for these high-end collectibles. And as you can see, it's super expensive as well, so these statues are only for high-end collectors. I don't recommend these statues if you're just a casual figure collector, they're definitely not for you. So I think these statues are only for experienced collectors. I think the statue is pretty limited. As you can see, it looks like it's going to be a limited edition of 388 pieces worldwide which is a very low number. So yeah, I recommend if you guys want to pick up the statue, then you should probably pre-order as soon as possible, because these statues are going to be impossible to pick up, and even more expensive, once they're sold out. So as for the statue itself, it's a super nice piece. I mean the sculpting looks so good, and I love the paint job, it's a very subtle paint job, but I think it works well for this specific statue. And I quite like the pose, it's a very similar pose to the Mayfly Studio Tifa. But I think the statue looks a bit more dynamic because of the hairpiece, which looks like it's flowing in the wind. I quite like the base, I'm not entirely sure what it's supposed to be, but it's obviously some type of mechanical, futuristic type of robotic base, I really don't know what it is. If someone can let me know what this thing is, it would really help out a lot. I think it may be one of the enemies in the game, but I can't be too sure about that. And here's a look at the back of the statue. Just in case you guys want to check it out, I love the hairpiece, all the strands of hair sculpted in there, it's actually quite nicely detailed. I mean of course for the price we're paying, it's going to be a super detailed piece. And uh, here's a close up on the skirt piece and the legs. I quite like the texturing on the skirts, as you can see it looks to be some type of fabric texture. And I quite like the paint job on the skin, they've kept it very light and I think it looks quite realistic. And there's also a bit of muscle definition on her stomach which uh, I think is a nice touch. And here's a look at the back of the statue. Once again, just in case you guys want to check it out, I mean they've really made the statue very curvy with very prominent assets. I mean, I don't want to get too into the details. I want to keep this video as safe as possible. And also I must mention, guys, please keep the comments respectful and mature. I mean the amount of comments I got on the last video with the exquisite studio Tifa was just insane. The amount of inappropriate comments so yeah guys, please try to control yourselves and keep the comments to a minimum. Otherwise this video will probably get taken down and I'll be in a lot of trouble. So yeah guys, please try to keep the comments as respectful as possible. I would really appreciate it. And next up we have the cast off feature of the statue. 
Oh man, I can already see the comments. I couldn't have said that at a better time. I know you guys, you guys are just gonna leave the most inappropriate comments. But uh, yeah, it's all good fun, but I mean guys, please just try to keep the comments as mature as possible. And so next up here we have some in-hand images of the statue itself with the cast off feature. I mean guys, I can't show these images, otherwise this video will probably get taken down and I'll probably get a strike on the channel. So yeah, I do apologize that I cannot show these images. But from what I can see, it looks to be a pretty nice statue in hand. I like the paint job, I like the sculpting, and as I mentioned before, it looks so much better compared to the original 3D images of the statue. It just looked way too animated before, and I didn't like the head sculpts, it just didn't look good. So I'm just so happy that they finally updated the sculpt, and I think it looks way better. Once again, some more in hand cast off images of the statue, which I cannot show. Which really sucks, I mean I wish I could show you guys all these images, but I mean just YouTube's policy won't allow me to show these images. And here's a look at the back of the in hand images of the statue. Once again, super nice sculpting in the hairpiece. Of course the statue is not fully painted, that's why there's colors missing on the figure, just in case you're wondering. And last up we have a nice close up of the base. Yeah, it definitely seems to be some type of mechanical robots, like futuristic, sci-fi, whatever it's supposed to be, I really don't know. But yeah, you can see all the broken bits of metal, all the wires, all the details sculpted in there. It's very nicely done. And I quite like the name on the base. I think it says Tifa Lockhart, it's quite hard to make out. But uh, yeah, I don't think the statue's genuine. Yeah, I don't think it's official, which is super interesting because they've got the name of the character on the base. But it's not an official product, so yeah, it's just kind of interesting how they got away with that. So yeah guys, let me know what you think of the statue, and if you're going to pick it up, in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for more Final Fantasy VII news and updates. Thank you guys so much for watching, take care, stay safe, and I will catch you guys on the next video. Alright, take it easy guys.